A warm welcome to everybody joining me for this week's Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide quality care in the same way that we would provide care to a loved one. This week is National Respiratory Care Week. Keeping in line with our theme for the month of October, I'd like to talk about lung cancer this week, which is the second most common type of cancer, not including skin cancer. Lung cancer makes up about 25% of cancer-related deaths currently, and the American Cancer Society estimates that there will be 230 36,740 new cases in 2022, with about 51% of those diagnoses in women compared to men. 84% of lung cancer cases are non-small cell lung cancer, and about 13% of cases are small cell lung cancer, which is also known as oat cell cancer. Because small cell lung cancer grows quickly, it does respond very well to chemotherapy and radiation therapy treatments. At diagnosis, the average age um, for a lung cancer diagnosis is about 70 years old. However, there's been a decrease seen in the number of new diagnoses because more people have stopped smoking recently. Like I've said before, early detection is so important um, regardless of what diagnosis you are um, leaning towards uh, looking into. Um, current screening guidelines include being between the ages of 50 and 80 years old and being in fairly good health. If you're currently a smoker or you've quit in the last 15 years and have at least a 20 pack per year smoking history. In addition to screening, you should receive counseling to help stop smoking, receive information on all benefits, limits, and harms of cancer screening, and you should make sure that you're going to a cancer center that has experience specifically with lung cancer screening and treatments. You might be asking, what if you've already been diagnosed? There are some simple things that you can do at home to help you to remain strong. Things like maintaining your weight, staying active, and continuing with breathing exercises are all really great places to start. If you have a hard time keeping weight on, try eating foods that are high in protein and calories. Some of those would include things like nuts, lean red meats, fish or chicken, and of course you have ice cream and peanut butter. If you're feeling a loss in your appetite, make sure you speak with your oncologist about possible medications or adjustments that can be made to help regain your appetite and subdue some of the nausea that often comes with the chemo and radiation therapy treatments. Staying active is very important as well, but you should try sticking with light or moderate activities, and you should only do those activities when you're feeling energetic and rested. Some activities um, can help to reduce side effects of treatment like nausea and extreme fatigue, and some options include things like stretching, walking, swimming, or biking. And lastly, deep breathing exercises are very beneficial in keeping your lungs clear. Try belly breathing, which uses your diaphragm below your lungs. You want to breathe in slowly through your nose for a count of two. As you inhale, you should feel your stomach move out or expand. And then breathe out slowly for a count of four, and you should then feel your stomach move back in to a regular position. By breathing in for two and out for four, you'll become more accustomed to breathing slowly and steadily. And this type of breathing exercise should be done for about five to 10 minutes, two to four times a day. Um, it can help with improving your breathing when you're climbing stairs, taking long walks, showering, if you're carrying or lifting objects, doing regular exercises, and just your day-to-day -day activities. Learning more about lung cancer can help you to be more in control of your treatment. Never hesitate to ask questions or advocate for yourself if something feels wrong or off. You know your body better than anybody else, and you should be in the driver's seat when it comes to your diagnosis, treatments, and uh, living life successfully during and after your diagnosis. For more information on cancer screening and cancer care at home, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Uh, reach out to Always Best Care Senior Services here in Central Connecticut at 860-533-9343. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.